Hello, I'm back again with another video. And I got my little funky shirt on today. We're at that stage in the wardrobe, you know, the constant cycle. I do have a limited supply of clothes right now, but it's kind of fun. We're here for it, we're vibing. So I'm gonna be honest, I did mess up my schedule a little bit. I went and did some fun things this weekend. That meant I got behind on my reading. So I thought today I would be filming my final thoughts on the last A Court of Fallen Roses book, A Court of Silver Flames. However, I'm a little bit behind. Oops. So that will be coming on Friday instead, which means I'm flipping the script and I'm talking about something else today. But the thing is, honestly, this is kind of just a chat. If you're here for the vibe, you know, stick me on in the background, go start tidying your room or doing something, maybe make yourself some lunch, you know, or just chat about some books. Does that sound good to you? Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. Basically, in a couple of weeks, I will be doing a teensy little bit of traveling, not intense traveling. I'm definitely not the backpacking kind of person. It would be very overwhelming and stressful for me, but we're going to go to a couple of places, Vietnam, and then on to Australia. Literally going to visit two, three places. We'll be spending a little bit of time in each of those places. Don't worry, I will continue to keep making content don't you worry about that but there might be a few videos that are refilmed they will all feel like another great upload anyway i've been prattling on for about 10 hours so today's video which was supposed to be friday's video is going to be about what i would like to read in vietnam and what i would like to read in australia and sort of how i think it will be to balance reading when you're traveling because when you're traveling traveling around you're moving places all the time some of the best places to read be maybe when you're on transport depends if you get motion sickness or not when you get some time to take some time for yourself obviously when it's super intense traveling and you're seeing something every day maybe it's kind of harder to keep track on it but we're gonna do a nice balance for our trip we haven't set everything in stone yet but we're definitely gonna go and visit some of the important places cultural places however we're also going to continue to make youtube the whole shebang so i have got a couple videos planned whilst i'm in these countries of certain books i want to read because I felt it was only right if I read the country's maybe most well-known literature and this can also include poetry, a fun book that's really popular and it turned out, which a video is coming in the future, that my nan's favourite book is an Australian book. I said I was going to start reading my friends and family members favourite books so you know maybe we'll kick it off with her favourite book. Don't want to spoil it yet, you'll have to come back for it, you have to come back for it. Basically this video is just me telling you what videos are coming up at this point. But I am going to talk about this more in another video coming up, about that feeling after you finish a big series. You know, it can be a little bit like, what next? A bit overwhelming. And I'll definitely go into more depth with this, but I feel like I'm already contemplating what I want to read next. All in all, before we return home, there's about a month to go. I've got plenty of time to read more books. It is a little bit difficult to choose. I feel like maybe a lot of romance could be good. I read a lot of romance. <laughs> There's a couple I've seen. My Dark Romeo. Has anyone read that? What's your thoughts on that? I did say in my last video that I wanted to try System to the Villain. Is that a good one to try? Also Vicious, that book as well. I'd be quite intrigued by that. The problem is if I start a series, I want to finish the series. And I don't know whether a month is enough time for me to finish because there's definitely things I want to read as soon as I get home. I want to read the new Richard Osman book and start straight on The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter as well. See, look, there's the, the queue's already massive. I've also seen, I think it's called Haunting Adeline. I've seen that a lot everywhere, but I'm a little bit terrified of it. I think it might be a bit too much for me. I'm not sure. Have you read it? What do you think? let me know in the comments below. Can anyone else relate that feeling when you kind of, you don't really know what you're talking about, but you just keep talking? Because I feel like that's what's happening right now. I just continuously keep spewing thoughts in my head. Don't really know if they have any coherence or whether they actually make sense. They're just kind of coming out and I'm hoping I find something in there. Maybe this video will just be book thoughts 
thoughts in my head at the moment. You know, it's okay though. Some days you're gonna have days like this. It's kind of my fault. Well, it is my fault <laughs> because I messed up my schedule. So I didn't really know what to do today, but I want to hold myself accountable and post every day. So I'm just trying to find something to talk about. And I feel like this was the best I could do, especially because I've basically planned the videos I'm going to do for the next month. So I've had a lot of different ideas, which means I've kind of exhausted most of those ideas on that plan. I do have a lot more plans for the future, but a lot of that involves books I have at home or little challenges I want to do, which wouldn't really be possible right now. I feel like I'm in an in-between. That's okay. I'm excited for the upcoming content. Also, if you've ever been to Vietnam or if you've ever been to Australia, mate, have you read any literature from these countries? If you have, comment down below. Let me know. To be honest, I really don't know if I have much else to say. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's okay. It's one of those days. It's one of those days. It is what it is. We're fine. We're here. We're showing up. We're creating content and we're putting it out there. We're not giving a flying... I don't know. See, I swear a lot. Do I? Should I swear? Should I not? You let me know. What do you think? I feel like I rein it in quite a lot when I'm talking to a camera. Maybe it's like, ooh, best behavior. But actually in real life, I do swear fairly often. So I feel like maybe that's kind of part of my brand, you know? That's part of me. And I want to be truly authentic me. Maybe I'll let one slip every now and then. Basically, the reason we're posting every day at the moment is because I just literally want to get over myself, stop worrying about how I look, what I'm doing, if I look weird, if I'm doing something weird. I just want to be me and just talk to a camera and I don't care who sees. I want to create a nice relationship with my audience of people that watch me. You know, I always say this, any of my close friends know, I always say that since I was a kid, I've always made videos. I definitely can, if you're interested, I definitely can fish some old YouTube videos that I made when I was a lot younger. It's kind of embarrassing, but I'd be willing to do that for you. Be willing to do that for you. And I always say that if I I just stuck it out and made videos as a 13 year old and not cared about what anyone at school thought or anything and just kept making videos. Convinced I'd be a millionaire by now. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on now, you see this personality? <laughs> Obviously I'm joking. Obviously I'm joking. I'm also very sarcastic. So nice to meet you. What can I say except you're welcome. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, circa. I don't know, when did Moana come out? Question of the day. That is the question of the day. Sorry, I do not know what I'm spilling anymore. So I am going to go. It's been a pleasure. I'm joking. You can't get rid of me that easy, can you? Yeah, I don't know why the accents come out all the time. It's just something that's always happened with me in my life. You just have to deal with that. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching whatever this video was. If you made it to this point, you are a legend. Don't don't worry, there's gonna be more book content back tomorrow where we're actually kind of on a schedule, kind of on a plan, kind of knowing what we're actually doing. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, until tomorrow, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! What on earth was that video? We're fine, we can do this. We're just gonna get another video out. It's gonna be amazing, great, let's do it. Just be you, just be yourself. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs>